Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Station Years run. A big experiment run. I realize that this experiment is taking a long time, but anyone that's been following along, you probably, you don't, you probably don't feel the need for me to excuse myself on that one because um, this is a collaborative effort. Uh, and I am actually quite reactionary to the comments, not in a negative way, of course, but as people raise points, we're sort of correcting and, and going along as uh, as we go. I might replace this filter since I've got the filter warning. So it's a learning experience for all involved, I think. And I know that sounds very bloody, you know, tally tubbies, pat on the head, children's viewing, but that's, uh, you know, that's the truth of it. It's the journey along the way is kind of what we're all about and the, the learning process. Okay, so I should be able to make, if I go carbon, so I remember that. So I was thinking as well, in my musings of poking and prodding the system, well, actually, I will address real quickly. Some some of the blokes are, um, I say skeptical, but don't think that that's not name calling or anything like that. In fact, a healthy bit of skepticism should exist in engineering and scientific communities and all that. And there are some people that have gone before me and that have done work on things like this before in this game that feel that uh, for a multitude of reasons, this probably isn't going to work. Uh, the we've, we've gone over the comparison between solar and turbine. And I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be aggressive and attack people and say, oh, you know, at my detractors. If you've tested this and you didn't like the results, I can understand why you'd be pro-solar, you know, but also you got to understand I haven't done it, so I need to do it to figure it out. And there's quite a few people that are um, that are actually watching and learning along with us. Um, but there, there are a multitude of reasons, one being that it might require a certain X pressure to turn the turbine which is interesting. Some people have suggested the air might just pass freely through if it's not at a high enough pressure. While I think that's dumb from a physics sort of perspective, I can sort of, I can understand why from a video game perspective, it might not do, like it might actually do exactly that. So I'm worried that that might be true. There's just not a lot of datum out there because not a lot of people play with turbines. Um, the other thing is people have suggested that it might really uh, lag your machine while it's trying to do all the calculations. Um, for all the pressure differential. Uh, these are all fair points. One thing that I thought about, because I'm positing that this game doesn't have an energy system and it doesn't have a friction system. And I'm pretty certain that that's correct, right? It's literally rolling the, you know, it's doing a check, check and execute, you know, high pressure here, low pressure here, send it through sort of thing. There's no energy involved in any of that. Um, I thought to myself, as much as I've been very pro, the system has to run itself without injecting anything in. And a lot of guys have suggested, you know, essentially forcing air through or using filters, trying to use like a low amperage sort of system to, to get it going. I thought to myself, at the very basic level, say I made a, t a tunnel. Say I made a tunnel, woo! all the way down there and it's just filled with friggin turbines and it can be open at the end it can be open to mars air you know almost vacuum and say we put a bloody fan in or a vent or whatever but essentially a suction blow system of air in the front and we just blasted air down that corridor flat stick as fast as we can find it right what's to stop that system from infinitely generating energy through each of its turbines because it's just going to create a big pressure differential, push through. That pressure is just going to move down to the next chunk of wind of turbine, right? Like I said, th there's not really any losses in this game in that system. Even that basic system, each turbine we add should produce just more power to a point where it finally offsets blowing the air down there. It's not. I, I doubt having like 30 turbines in a row is going to generate some sort of air resistance, friction resistance that's going to stop the entire system from moving forward at all, especially if we just have it open at the back. So it just occurred to me that maybe we could do something like that, where we could just blast frigging air down the tunnel. And uh, if, if, if it is as simple, I don't want to say simple, but if it is as straightforward a system as it seems from a video game perspective, you could hypothetically make infinite energy there 
And I want to know why I can't do that. So that's probably something we're going to build at a certain point as well. But anyway, back to this, because we'll stick with this because we've already gone through and we've been quite frugal with our instruments. The good thing about having all this glass area as well is we'll be able to observe this. All right, we'll be able to watch it and see what happens, um, which I'm very curious about. There's a system heats and heats and heats. One other thing. I might even just make a version of this without the cooling system in it. If it just infinitely heats, it has to flow into the other room. You know, like, let, let's say, like, just to log the behavior of the gas. W like, what happens? We just keep heating up here. Is it going to flow through there? When those walls are all so sealed up, we will be able to observe the bottom one as well, a little bit. I am curious. I'm very curious. The The one thing that I really want to harness is the ability to pump air into this system as well. Just because it's going to have such low pressure when the ball gets rolling. Um, what happened to the... I bet I'm carrying them. Yeah, I'm carrying a vent. Oh, and there's one there as well. Is this one active? Passive. Right, we made two passives. I'm, probably, I'm going to need to make an active vent. But I also want to see... Are you going to let me attach it to there or something, game? Alright, I can attach it to the wall. But we're not allowed to attach it to... Glass. What I might do... Because the sun is going through here, right? And it doesn't seem to have an offset at all. I might actually make this wall here solid so i can put a vent array against it right and uh and it will still get maximum sun exposure for heating there yeah 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 yeah. and this shouldn't really use up any resources to do whoops i've gone too far sorry i looked away for a sec um angle grinder yeah, because we're going to have to rebuild this. Ah, oh, bugger. Just watch it drop down my hole. Jetpack on. Oh, I don't want to be jamming myself down here. Alright. So. Iron wall, cool. Much better. Alright. So we're going to put... A passive vent. Oh. When did I put glass on there? We're going to put a passive vent here. Which we've just got to be aware that, that that's going to open up the pipe to cooling. We will persevere. I am starting to lean... Like, even though I was like, let's just see if we can get it sun-powered. We probably could eventually, but the scale would be ridiculous. Um, I'm starting to lean towards having a fan-forced tunnel, but if we can... I'll just say it. If we can exploit the system, we might be able to get it to... Uh, to generate more power than the power required to, to essentially fan blast it. Which would be cool. Yeah. But I mean, hey, this is how we experiment, team. You know? I didn't come here saying I had the answer. I'm just sort of trying to figure it out myself as we go as well. But it's good. I'm glad we've got a cool community that's with me on this. That's sort of just enjoying the experimental method. Because that's the spirit of this, I think.
All right. Is that five, we reckon? Maybe? Oh, look at that. You can't coach it. All right. Active vent inbound. All right, so. Oh, around we go. My bad. Oh, come on. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why can't I attach to the... Oh, I think... Do I have to put a wall kit on the outside? Isn't that strange? I bet I do. Well, we're out of wall kits because we were... Again, we were trying to sort of... Oh, dear. Cut back on spending. So I'll just make a quick wall kit. Oh, wait, hang on. I can't make wall kits. We went through this. I guess I'll make a frame. Yeah, I think we need to get the tech to make wall kits. Couldn't hurt to have more frames. All right. Um, I'll need the angle grinder. Hunger. Caution. Uh, uh, okay. Let's just make sure this works in the first place. Hey, that's better. That'll work. Now, I realise we're exposing it to the cold air. I understand that. I feel a little bit hard up for options at the moment. Like, I want to get a pr working prototype going as soon as possible, right? And I feel like maybe the heat transfer route is possible, but it might not be the initial... Like, what we need to do to strip it back a little bit more first principles is, in my opinion, is get air passing over these turbines because we need to know. We need to know what the what the geo is. All right. I need... I'm going to need a lot of copper. Let's go. Let's just cook it all. This might short our entire circuit. Now's the time to do it, though. We've got the biggest draw because I'm going to make a lot of wire. Um, let's see. Yeah, so this piece of pipe that I'm putting in right now is like the fault in the system. That's cool how you can do that. You can do them like back to back now because of uh, how they've changed wall kits and being able to build because you couldn't build under a wall before yeah you know, it probably couldn't hurt to do both walls on either side yeah and uh I might actually how do we want to do this cable? So, this is going to be fan started, basically. Sorry, I've got to remember to explain what's going on in my brain. Um, so, we're going to actually run this back to our grid. So, the, the, uh, the solar panel enthusiasts might get their way shortly, actually. 
because we might actually need to shore up our solar panel network just to blast the air through to get this experiment going. Jeez, we might be able to just run this straight across, you know? Which is not bad aim, but uh, we will need to do this. Like that. We can make so much more. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that system. We're not going to put a cooling component in. In fact, we're, we're I don't want to say abandoning, but we're just putting it to the side. It's going to be for a, an, a higher level prototype because we have some fundamentals out of the way. It'd be like doing some tests assuming gravity, but you never actually tested that gravity worked, I suppose, is probably the way to, to look at it. So we need to we need to see how the turbines behave because I think people's skepticism and the shadows of doubt that they've cast over this whole experiment are reasonable. Um, and so we need to address it, I think. Otherwise, you know, at what point am I just bull charging blindly and not listening to advice? Right. So that should, hypothetically, set inward. Perfect. All right. So yeah, at this point, all we got to do is just seal it up. Um, which should be straightforward. A lot of wall kits are like pretty basic, right? Let's try and be sensible about how we do it. Oh, that frames up here. Okay, so we can do that. I don't know how it's going to feel about, like, some of the kits are facing in, some are facing out. Like, is it going to find an air leak in that sort of behavior? I haven't really tried sealing things atmospherically too much in this game. It's nice that it lets us poke through the girders to build. And ultimately, this isn't really going to cost us much. Like, we'll be able to observe its behavior. And then we can just bloody... Jeez, look at that. that that's going to hurt somebody. And then we can just pull the walls off and all that and, and open it back up again and, and iterate. And we need more iron sheets. I should have counted how many I need, actually. It's going to be more than two, sadly. Now, there's a piece of iron over here. That's not going to be enough. Cook up a little bit more. All right. Oh, oh, did I literally have one copper left? Huh. Okay, cool. All right, that's probably going to be enough. Cooks pretty fast. That's absolutely enough. I 
can't see us needing more than that, to be honest. Alright, so bottom was all sealed up. We're doing the center. We've done the center wall, so we should be able to seal that up. Oh, okay. Um, can't ignore that. Last, we'll do this side now. Now I haven't rigged in power draw or anything like that. I'm just I mostly just want to observe this turning. Look at that. Um, that's interesting. We're at 2 kPa, and this is clearly reacting to some sort of pressure differential. This isn't. But that is. Look at it, it's moving. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to... Come on, just get one in there. Um, network. Where are I? Oh. We haven't been using any network analysis, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, look. Come on. There it is. All right, so. All right. I don't use this very often, so this will be interesting, but this should be the tool. That's still turning very slowly. Okay. Right, we can't get stats directly off the turbine, but we can get them off the cable, so it's generating such a piddly little amount, but that has made me uh, think of, right, here we go, we've got basically some electronics testing equipment now, that's cool. At first, we were just going to observe. If you don't realize, I can draw the 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 power draw behavior off of this power cable, power, no. even if we're not specifically um, using power. It's still going to be generating potential across that wire. It's just as good as putting a battery in and, observe, and observing what the battery does. Iron sheet. Oh, okay. My bad. You have to put an iron sheet in first. Right, and this is sealed, isn't it? Yep. So let's seal this. Alright. Seems to be turning a little bit faster. I mean, there's no reason for other than other than the system sort of just normalizing and equalizing out right now. There's no reason for it to be turning. And you can see it's doing 0.2, which is more more than what it was doing before. It was doing about 
Right, so that's just the air settling in there, basically. Can we see if that turbine's turning? Doesn't look like it, to be perfectly honest. All right, here we go. Um, I know my battery's running low. This is... I don't want to take the risk of dying. So we might flatten our grid a little bit here. All right. Set outward. No, no, we want it to inward. All right, so it's going to suck air in. It's all trying to equalize in there. You can see the particles flying straight up. Looks like maybe I didn't seal the roof on the other side. Ah, <laughs> you idiot. Okay, good to know. What's it going to do now with that gas that's in there? Probably not much. Oh, it's turning. Now, isn't that interesting? So far, we've already got something observable. That's turning. It looks like it's getting faster and faster. Point 0.8, right? Remember, it was going point 0.1, point 0.2. The bottom one is not budging. The particles, I mean, we can't trust them too much. But they're going down there. So as we pump air into this system... Point 0.8. Do we have any leaks? I don't think we do. This is very interesting to watch. The bottom turbine is not moving. And this is still generating the same potential. And all we're doing is pumping more and more bloody air into this system. So what's going on? You know, what's the scientists in us say? Particles are traveling like that downward, but we've seen this behavior. They're not going anywhere. They're going through here. That is actually, is it speeding up? It's, well, actually someone said 800 was the most that it could generate. Eight hundred. Wait, potential 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Okay, hang on. So we turn that off and it stops almost immediately. Or it's slowed right down. Down to milliwatts, right? So, there is a scenario where this system explodes, right? We're going to... The, the pressure limit of these windows, these windows will go first, is 200 kPa, right? I definitely sealed the bottom in. And the beauty of this game is if there was something leaking out, we'd see it. We would see the particles leaking out. This is fascinating. What is going on here? 0.9. Okay, actually, okay, so this indicates that we are getting a pressure buildup in this room. You know, if the turbine's turning faster. Point 0.9. Because remember, we're only going at 2 kPa atmosphere. Right, so the amount of gas it's sucking in, even though you can see all the particles and all that, is not super significant. Like, it's only putting the tiniest, tiniest amount of um, density into the system. But going from 0.8 to 0.9 indicates to me that the turbine's starting to speed up a little bit. The one thing that we don't have access to here is 
now is a way to check the density of the air in the in there. I'm gonna pull this wall off because that wall should hold. Fingers crossed. All right. And I'm gonna see if I can make some sort of observation. Let's get rid of that. Turn this bloody jetpack off. Um, if I put that in my hand. Yeah, there we go. Hundred and fifty five KPA in that pipe. Temperature. Well, wow. okay. That's one way to do it. So that wall just blew off. Let's, um, we didn't get hit, so we're safe. Isn't that interesting? This wall failed first. Why did that fail? Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about this. Any other damage? No, it just blew the wall off, which is over there now. Mmm! Some empirical evidence. How strange. Oh, look at that. Is that turning now? That is turning. Okay. They're both turning. I mean, granted, our system's blown open. It's now open, right? There's a hole here. Did that just wobble? No, no, it keeps turning there. All right, well, look, that's pretty much another episode down, team. A lot going on. Um, but I can't process it all immediately. I need to have a think about it. You guys need to watch and observe it and think what you... and come up with what you reckon as well. The interesting thing that I found was that... In a way, we proved my theory on how pressure differentials across even a small space in this game work, right? This is only a really small space, right? And we saw the particles indicating that a shitload of air was blowing down to the bottom, right? That turbine was not moving. For better or for worse, it wasn't moving. Which I kind of assume means that it's plugged. But I don't know for sure. So version 2 of this, we might actually put like a little... We'll call it like an observer's pipe similar to what we've done with this cable, we might put one down on the opposite side here because I want to see what's going on with that pressure. It shouldn't be moving in this compartment, in this room. But if it somehow is, that would indicate that air is flowing through that turbine even though it's not turning. All right, so we need to confirm that it's actually acting as a valve when it doesn't turn, which it should. Now, assuming that we're just pumping air in the particles say they're going down there, but it's very clear they're going through here. The pressure was building, 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 building. And what seems to have happened, rather than actually let the air circulate, it would rather blow its frigging wall off. Okay? Interesting. This doesn't help my sunlight theory, right? Because if this thing needs an operating pressure to be higher than what a glass window can do, then we're in all sorts of trouble. Now, I don't think we can build, like, industrial windows or anything like this, even though the wall was the point of failure. So one of the next steps, which will be tricky, would be potentially to build this all out of iron frames, right? That makes it very difficult to visually observe, but we'll have to put a lot of physical observation datum points through it, like these cables and pipes, and then we could pump the shit out of it and just see how we go wind tunnel wise. But the fact that the system broke before it wanted to let the turbines turn the way that we wanted them to is interesting. And to be honest, that wasn't something I really thought about or even I thought about it, but I didn't consider it to be our first problem. And the fact that the wall went first boggles me.
because I thought that the glass windows had a, a lower pressure threshold than the wall. And then consider where where it failed, like what wall failed? That one, right? So the pressure was definitely higher here. So for it to pop there, I know, I guess it makes sense, even if it was sort of normalizing, that's where we're creating higher pressure. That's where it would pop first, is this room. We knew that. I just thought the glass would go first. Interesting. Anyway, team, that's cool. It's good to actually get some empirical evidence on the side of our experiment, and we will have to test and adjust accordingly. But I think we're onto something. We're still, we're st we still need to keep doing tests. And I think um, the fact that that is passively moving is very interesting to me. And that as well. Like, I almost wonder if... Well, I mean, how much air is... We need to test. But it's almost like it's working as intended, you know? Like, even though it's all just normalized air, maybe it's turning on the, on the warmth of that, but I doubt it so much. We'd have to get in there and observe more. All right, team. Thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you on the next one.